This is the first of two videos that introduce the probabilistic analysis function. Study case 7.0 should be active. Probabilistic analysis allows network assessment based on probabilistic input data, offering an alternative to the assessment of individual operation scenarios or the use of time sweep analysis. It's useful if input parameters are known to be random or if one wants to simulate the grid at some time in the future, taking into account forecasting errors. The calculations use probabilistic input data in the form of distributions. The results are stochastic, meaning that each result quantity is no longer a single number, but is also a distribution for which statistical quantities can be obtained. For example, if the power generation of wind turbines is based on a wind speed distribution, the resulting line loading is also a distribution for which quantities such as standard deviation, minimum, maximum, etc. are available. In this video, we will use the functionality to see the effect of forecasting errors in wind power data. Let's look at the active power setting for this wind generator. The active power is already modified by a characteristic and has had a distribution curve applied. The normal distribution is called forecast error and it's used in order to take account of potential forecasting or measurement errors. It has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of 5. A random value that's drawn from the distribution is applied, additive in percent, to the characteristic value. Different representations of the distribution can be selected. The curve is stored in the probabilistic assessment folder of the operational library. Many other different distribution types are available. Before we run the probabilistic analysis, we have to define result variables that are to be recorded during the execution. The relevant command is accessed using this icon. Variable selections have already been made for both statistical and sample results. Statistical results, such as mean and standard deviation, provide information about particular result variables over the whole set of calculations, whereas the sample results are the individual results for each calculation. Looking at the sample results, we can see, for example, that for static generators, result variables for the active and reactive power have been selected. Now, this icon can be used to access the probabilistic analysis command. The analysis will be carried out using a load flow calculation. The Monte Carlo method is selected with the maximum number of samples set to 10,000. On the recorded statistics page, we can define which statistics are to be recorded for the selected variables. We're now ready to execute the command. The calculation will take some time. Once it's finished, the results can be analysed. The Network Model Manager can be used to look at statistical quantities. For example, if we're interested in knowing which line has the highest mean loading, we can just sort on this column. Another way to analyse results is by using plots. This icon can be used to bring up the plots dialog. Different plot types are available. Let's create a distribution estimation plot. In this demonstration, we'll delete the first row as we just want to represent the estimated probability density function using the histogram method. We'll select the element GRID05 
and the variable max loading. The diagram shows us the frequency distribution of the maximum loading in the network. Since only normal distributions have been used in this network, this curve also reflects the shape of this kind of distribution. In the next video, you can see how probabilistic analysis can be used to find out which parts of the network may need reinforcement.